Hey guys, it is Spore here. Uh, I am back with another Doll North update. I know it's been a while since my last video, and I was even debating making this video because I don't have as much footage or pictures um, as I normally do, and I did not attend all of the Doll North events this year, so I don't have as much to chat about, and I didn't really make many purchases. But um, I decided in lieu of tradition that I should still make a video. This is kind of just going to be a story time, letting you know what I did at Doll North 2019 and uh, what I was up to at the convention this year. And I've got the lovely Juniper with me who did get two of my only doll purchases of the year. Um, I got her this lovely cactus shirt, if you can see it from Rusted Couture. She was very sweet and had lovely product. And I also got her this tiny little necklace, a bug in a jar. Um, I didn't get a card or anything from the sellers that I got this from, um, but they had all kinds of different necklaces for different sizes and um, their store was very efficient in the way that they displayed the necklaces in like a binder and I just thought it was really smart. So I did get a couple of pieces from them, but those were my only doll purchases this year. So on Friday, I opted to just enter the photo contest this year. I did not do the masquerade, and unfortunately I did not get a chance to go and look at all of the masquerade and photo contest entries. Um, I wanted to wait until Sunday when I knew everything would be set up because you do have the whole weekend to put your dolls out. But by the time I went to go take a look, the doors were closed and they were doing judging. So I didn't get to see all of the entries, unfortunately. Um, the theme for the masquerade was gods and goddesses, like deities um, at the Met Ball. It's kind of a convoluted theme. Uh, I wasn't loving it. I wasn't feeling it. So I did not end up entering. Um, a couple of my friends did some really beautiful entries. And again, I didn't get to see them all, so I don't have footage or anything, um, but they will be up on the Doll North Facebook page, I'm sure, eventually, um, if you want to take a look at them. It does take them usually a bit of time to post, and I'll be looking for them too as well, because I didn't get to see them all. Um, and the photo contest was themed paparazzi. So I took a photo of a couple of my dolls. I made like a little step and repeat. I can insert a photo here. And again, I didn't get to see all of the entries and I was not a winner, which is fine. I'm not a photographer, but um, I didn't get to see them. So I don't know what I was up against, but hopefully some photos of the photos will also be displayed eventually so I can take a look. But uh, yeah, that was a big fail on my part. So on Friday, I just dropped off my photo contest entry, and then I decided to do some cosplay and some Anime North type stuff, some shopping at the Nomonoichi with um, some of my friends and my husband. Um, and I just I did try to rush back for the BGD tea party, and I was really cutting it on time. Uh, by the time I got back to the hotel, it was about five minutes before it was about to start. And um, we ran upstairs to get my doll, this doll here and um, came back downstairs got in the line and there was like maybe three people behind me and uh, they were letting people in and when I got to the door they had stopped it and they were just counting doing a head count um, and they did only let one more person in there was a couple in front of me and they let one of them in and the other one they didn't and it was really depressing but uh, I understand that they had like restrictions on how many people um, they could let in because of food and they were like they were charging a little bit more this year so I was really hoping to get some tea and sandwiches um, but again I was cut off and uh, I was told later by a friend who did make it in that there was lots left so it was just really disappointing um, there's no way they could have predicted that but I really do think we could have all snuck in so anyway, I didn't get in, but it did kind of work in my favor because um, I was selling a head from one of my dolls and I met up with the person at that time and we did the exchange. So 
in the end, I did end up, I, w I wish I had just stayed at the dealer's room and not tried to rush back, but it is what it is. Um, and then on Saturday, I did participate a little bit more in the doll stuff. Um, I did BJD Price is Right, and I did end up making it um, into part of the show, and I did do get, get to do a mini game. Um, the price of dolls has really gone up. Like, it's way more than I remember. So I was guessing, and I was, like, lowballing everything because I just, like, assumed that the prices were lower than they are, and they're just not. And it just reaffirms why I don't buy dolls like I used to. Um, but the game that I got to do was a, like, a fill-in-the-price dice roll game. You had to roll um, numbers. The first and last number of the price was there, and um, you rolled for each of the numbers that were in between, and then you had to decide whether the actual number in the price was higher or lower than the dice roll, and if it was exactly the number that you rolled in the dice, then they just put it in. So this is like a real Price is Right game that I've seen. Um, however, because we are at an anime convention, we were using like fancy D&D kind of dice. but. <laughs> It was like a, it was a Zoom doll that was over a thousand dollars, and I had no idea about anything. But luckily, I had a friend in the audience who uh, was conveniently guiding me higher or lower, and so we did end up getting the correct price. And uh, I got a little goodie bag with some wigs and some other little pieces um, from that. So that was fun. And then for the showcase, I did not. I did not guess mine close enough, so I was not the winner, but it was really fun, and there was a lot of participation, and I, I liked how they did it. Um, but my only note was they had, like, these speed rounds in between the rounds to decide who to call up next, and so they put an item on the screen, and then you had to yell out what you thought the price was between $1 and $50. And though, like, I understand where that fun, the fun of that game and the idea of that game came from, I found it, like, really loud and kind of obnoxious, and I wish they had just drawn names. So, that was just my note for that. Um, otherwise, everything went really well, and um, the program was great, and it just ran really smoothly, and there were some really fun mini-games to, to watch and do. I also participated in, no, I lied. I went to Doll Family Feud, and I guess I kind of participated just by, like, cheering, but um, I, my name was not picked for Doll Family Feud, so I was not in one of the families this year, which is fine. I got to be in a family last year, and uh, there were a few technical difficulties, but otherwise, like, not anyone's fault. Uh, the questions were really good. It ran really smoothly. Um, the answers were all really well thought out, and uh, it wasn't... None of the questions were, like nobody could guess were like way off base um it went really well and i had friends on both of the teams so i really didn't care who won i was just cheering for everyone so congratulations to the winners of doll price is right whoever you are you did great um and the other thing that i did was doll project runway and uh this year the material that we had to use was um just was like cut up advertising it was advertising from previous years from like Dolmore and Leak World and I don't even remember there was more but there were just they were pamphlets um postcards and flyers from doll companies that um Doll North has been racking up over the years and we had to make an outfit in the theme of camp as in like campy not like going Girl Scouts going to camp so um, I ended up making, I wasn't really 100% on what camp meant, but I ended up making a mermaid, and beside me my friend made like this lobster person, it was really cute, and um, there were lots of really awesome entries, and uh, I only got a picture of myself because I'm really egocentric like that, so this was mine. I had friends that placed first, second, and third, so um, I was really happy and glad for all of them. 
they did really great. So congratulations again to the Del Patrick Runway winners because um, the outfits were outstanding as usual. Everyone does a great job and I'm always shocked by what people can produce in less than an hour. Um, so there was also a swap that night, which I did not attend because I had a yard sale table for the next day and the swap rules changed a bit this year. So this year they wanted everyone to have no prices and no dolls. It was just purely supposed to be a swap without money involved, which I understand because people are paying for the, the yard sale and vendor tables and that takes away from their sales. So I just didn't go because my stuff all had prices and I just knew I didn't have a ton of things I wanted to swap. I mostly just wanted to sell. So I skipped that and did some Anime North stuff, didn't get into Disney karaoke uh, again. So in previous years, we have the, my friends and I have this running joke that we're going to go to Disney karaoke. It's not really a joke. It's that we always say we're going to, and then we never do. So this year, we actually went, we lined up, and it was the 8 o'clock curse again, because the previous night at 8 o'clock, I couldn't get into the BGD tea party and this night at 8 o'clock we got there just before 8 o'clock again and we did not get into Disney karaoke it was full and there was only a couple people ahead of us so that was too bad the room was at capacity though so what can you do so now I know for next time always go line up in advance if it's cutting it close just go do something else you're probably not going to get in that's what I learned and then finally on the Saturday or sorry on the Sunday the final day of the con, I had a um, Doll North yard sale table in their little doll vendor's room, and I did amazing. I could not believe how many great people came by my table and purchased my stuff because I sold the majority of the items, including um, the one full doll that I had for sale. I sold my um, USD little Monica, who... Um, if you have been following me for this long, which would be crazy, might know that I won at Doll North many years ago. And uh, I'm just, I'm trying to thin out my crew. So unfortunately, because he wasn't a pre-planned doll and he just kind of didn't have a character, even after all this time, it was his time to go. So I sold him and his outfit, which were probably the biggest, and two of my SD heads. I sold my little Monica and real head to my cousin, so he's gonna live on as her character. I'm really stoked about that. And um, I sold my Lutz SD event head. I don't remember which year he was, but um, he has a really nice face up by Attila Tilly, and he's got some scars on his face, and he looks really cool. But um, I'm kind of was just axing some of my newer dolls because I just feel like I have too many. So. He went and um, I sold a Miro doll body as well. So my resin all went and then I had a ton of clothing. So it was super worth it. And uh, then I already had a nice spot to sit in this room where they did all of the announcements for the draws and everything. So um, that was nice and relaxing. And I didn't have to worry about finding a seat and waiting around because I could just do some sales while I was waiting. So that all worked out really great. Um, I'm very low on inventory now, so I don't think I will need to do a yard sale table again next year because they wouldn't have enough for a table. So I'll have to accumulate a bit more stuff again. So of course, when I got home, I made an order on Dollmore because uh, there was a few things I was looking for for my dolls very specifically, and I either didn't find them or just didn't bother to look, spend time looking. So. I made a little Dolmore doll order with some of this money that I got from the con and it just, I should be able to have everyone in full outfits and be like complete now. Of course, when are dolls ever truly complete is the real question. But uh, yeah, it was just, it worked out great. So that was my whole weekend at Doll North 2019. Those are all the things that I got up to this year. Um, I know it was a little less exciting. Um, and I didn't get to do everything, but all in all, it was totally worth it. The weekend flew by and I'm just so sad it's over. I miss all my friends. 
we had a great time together. So um, thanks for everyone who stopped and said hello, everyone who I got to chat to, anyone who purchased from me. You're all fantastic. I hope you also enjoyed Doll North as much as I did, and I hope to see you all again soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye, guys.